Colin Baird grew up on the southern tip of Vancouver Island. As a teenager, he started working at a local marine park called Sealand of the Pacific. And I would go after school and weekends as, uh, you know, growing up and just thought that's how everybody grew up. Sealand of the Pacific used to be here where this marina is now. There's nothing left of the old place. It was an oceanarium. That's an aquarium that was actually built in the ocean. And there were nets that separated the animals, the seals, the sea lions, and the stars, the killer whales. Baird eventually became a trainer, working with the three killer whales. His favorite, a small male named Tillicum. He was very easy to work with. He was very easy going. Uh, he learned quickly, learned well. Among the other trainers, 20-year-old marine biology student Kelty Byrne. On February 20th, 1991, she had just finished a show with the killer whales when she slipped and fell into their enclosure. Baird arrived minutes later. The three orcas were a little surprised that one of their trainers had uh, seemingly jumped into the pool, although fallen, uh, and they were sort of excited about that. It was something completely out of the norm. Witnesses say the whales, including Tillicum, kept Burn from reaching the sides, repeatedly pulling her under the frigid water. They couldn't get her, and finally she, uh, she didn't come up anymore. Baird, a trained diver, volunteered to go and retrieve Burn's body. The co-worker has just suffered, drowned in some way related to the animals that are now in the tank that you are about to go in with. Yeah. Yeah, but this, this wasn't a malicious attack. I mean, it, it was an accident. The coroner's inquest listing Burns' death as drowning due to or a consequence of the forced submersion by orca killer whales. She was the first trainer ever killed. Oh, my goodness. It, it was awful. It was awful for everybody. People in general just couldn't believe what had happened right here in our own backyard. Not long after, Sealand shut down. Tillicum was sold to SeaWorld in Orlando. But residents would hear about Tillicum again. The sheriff deputies have identified the 27-year-old man found dead in a killer whale's tank at SeaWorld. In 1999, a man's body was found draped naked on Tillicum's back one morning. How the man got there, SeaWorld couldn't say. Then in 2010, Tillicum pulled trainer Don Brancho into the water to her death. When he first met Tillicum, Colin Baird had no problem with captivity and killer whales. Now, three decades and three deaths later, he definitely does. Do you blame him? I don't blame him, no. This would, these would never have happened if he'd been left in the North Atlantic. Martin Savage, CNN, Victoria, British Columbia.